Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you're there, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I really want to get to 1,000 subscribers sometime this year. On here, I've got Photoshop. Well, it's not really Photoshop, it's just like online free alternative. You click on your project. Make sure the size is 1280 and then height 720. That's the size for an average, like common YouTube thumbnail. I like to put mine on transparent and then click on create. Um, now, this is a transparent background, there's nothing on here yet. So I'm going to Google, I want images, cool blue burst. I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to copy this, put it onto here. Now I'm going to edit and click on paste, or you can do control V or command V if you're on a Mac, like me. Click on that, paste. Now you can see it's really big. It's, it's all the way out here because it's a really big picture. So what I'm going to do, click on shift and click on the shift and drag. Make sure you click on the shift, otherwise the aspect ratio won't be right. So what you have to do is click on shift, drag, and just drag it like this. Click on enter, and there we go. You've got the background. Now, what you want to do, or what I like to do, is go on the text layer, so you make a new layer, text. Let's put something like how to make, I'm actually gonna yeah, make another one, how to make thumbnails. Let's so make a new text layer. This one's gonna say for free. I'm gonna click on transform tools and I'm gonna make it bigger. So you can see it, so it stands out more. Let's make sure it's centered. It's really hard to see it right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color to red. Red on all these layers. And there we go. That's obviously not done yet. It doesn't look too good at the moment, but it's gonna look a lot better in the end, trust me. So you go on here, click on the top layer, how to make, go on gradient. Then you can change which color gradient you want to use. I'm just going to use black and white and I'm going to change the opacity to about 40, 40, 42%. And I'm actually going to put an, a stroke, like an outline over it. I'm going to put the stroke size on probably 8. So that already looks a lot better than these. So I'm going to apply the same effect on this, from this one on the rest of these. So I've got blending options on stroke and it already knows like what what settings and effects it used on the previous layer now go on gradient boom that's it you've got the background layer here got all the text layers on the side here what i'm going to do quickly is get an emoji from google so i'm going to type in emojis oops make sure you put png as well png since it's a transparent background on that. I'm not sure which one I want to use, so I'll probably use... I'm going to use this emoji. So if you go on here, copy image, back onto Photoshop, paste it. Now this layer is behind all these other layers, so I'm going to move this to the top. Transform tools. Make sure you click on shift, resize it, and you can like move this wherever you want. You can put it in the corner, but because you can't really see the text, I'm going to move this further up, I'm going to make it a bit smaller, hopefully you can see this, further up. Now you've got this really cool emoji in the corner, you can add all sorts of images. What I'm going to do is just move it, I'm actually going to add a, a drop shadow as well, make it stand out a lot more. So drop shadow, the size there's all sorts of effects you can use you can change the color if you want but i'm not going to do it i'm just going to keep it as it is actually no i'm going to use a blue actually i'm going to change the blue i'll use the same blue from the background okay i'm going to add a little stroke as well i'm going to put 0 0.5 0 6 and there we have it hopefully this video helped you out this video has gone really well actually. The thumbnail looks alright as well. Now you go on transform tools 
and then you make sure you make sure you're pressing shift and then click and then drag move it up click shift drag bring it down right what i like to do with my thumbnails is if i get the background layer put this on top drag this now i've got two layers but two layers what i want to do though is i want to get this layer put this on top what i want to do is duplicate this layer so if i go on layer duplicate layer and then photoshop should have these tools um, might be a bit limited on this website but if you go on this object selection left click no actually if you go on if you go on this tool here this little rectangle go on polygonal laser select and then just zoom in what i'm going to do is cut it out cut this out my friend out of this picture so i've just got him get basically I'm getting rid of the background so now i can put, put this so now i can put this picture here next to it so here we go let's go let's do this it's quite a long process all this i don't do this for all my thumbnails i do this for some of them um, here we go so i've got this i'm just going to go around it here we go and now you just have to there we go. Now I've drawn around it. You can see the lines around the around the picture. Now what you have to do, click on this little button down here. Add raster, raster mask. Click on that. Now I'm just going to press a V so I can go back to the selection tool. And this layer here, the, the layer below the layer I've just done that mask. What you want to do, hide it. And here we are. You've got this image behind the background, which is this layer just here this layer now I can move this wrong one <laughs> now I can move this to the side I'm gonna put some text I'm gonna put the name of this video is lost brother lost brother and this is the behind the scenes as well so I'm gonna put behind click on the layer press shift make sure you press shift when you do these kind of things I'm gonna resize it resize it put it here and you've got this one here. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. Resize it. Resize it. There we go. I'm actually going to change the colour because I don't like this. I'm going to click on it. Control A or Command A, whatever computer you're on. Select all the text. Click on this little colour box here. I'm going to choose probably uh, blue. I'm going to make it bold as well. So it stands out more on the thumbnail. So I'm going to make it bold. Um, I'll do some more effects to it later. So I'm going to do the same to this one. Probably going to make this a, a white. Make it a bold. That actually looks a lot better, better than the original. <laughs> now I'm going to go on blending options. This is where you can add strokes, outer glow, drop shadow, in the inner shadows, all of them kind of stuff. So I'm on this layer now, behind the scenes, the text layer. I'm going to go on Outer Glow, click on and go black, make the spread like that. Dark blue or a black, actually, put it in the black. Make this a size, size 4. Now I can go on this, this text here, blending options, stroke. I can add the same effects that are on this layer onto this one up here. And there we go. What you can do is change, like, make the increase the saturation of it so what i'm going to do is go on image adjustments hue and saturation and i can increase the saturation just so it looks like just so it stands out more when you know the, when you know all these tools you can, you can apply this on all the all all your thumbnails and pictures i like that i've cut out this image and pasted it like on top of the background now i'm going to click on explore as JPEG, quality 770, save, and now go on here, double click, there you go, you've got it. Now you can put this on your YouTube video, on your desktop, whatever you want to save it, you've got it on here now. This website is a live saver for when I'm, make, when I'm making thumbnails. And hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully this helps as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, 
subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.